was a, after my trip to Russia when I was looking at so many icons and seeing them all around, I thought I'd like to see them coming from the earth and I wanted to walk on them because that's considered very irreverent to walk on art or to walk on icons and I wanted to do something like that, you know, to show that it really wasn't, you know, and to push, push the idea. Um, the images in my show um, are composite images. They're uh, superimposed images uh, of four things, actually, of icons, and they're of mummies. Some mummies that I saw in the uh, Museo de los Mías in Guanajuato, Mexico, and they're of animals and people, some people in my family, some people from history, like uh, Rembrandt's mother. In other words, the icons are leaving the ceilings and the walls of cathedrals and coming out of the earth. And animals, people, mummies, everybody, everything was coming from the earth and sacred. The first part was doing the, the photographic imagery, which was uh, superimposing a lot of images on codolith transparencies, and those are transparent films that you blow up in the dark room. I decided to use them with some Japanese papers behind them and shine light through them. And then it was getting the idea of walking on the glass. At first I was going to use plexiglass, and then I found out that it bowed and that it would need to be at least an inch thick, you know, and that was very expensive. So I got some advice to use this laminated safety glass which is two pieces of thick glass with a piece of uh, plexiglass in between. And I was told that for these sizes of about 16 by 20, then if you were on one image, you couldn't weigh more than 300 pounds, but it would work. And so I had a carpenter make these frames that have a quarter inch lip all the way around. They're two inch off the ground. Put the glass in those frames. You have a hole on each end. And uh, we ran a string of Christmas tree lights into each box, 50 miniature white lights, and strung them together and started walking on them, which was a fantastic experience. Since these images were coming from the earth, I needed to fill in the areas so that people would not step in between the frames so easily. The idea I came up with um, was mulch. It seemed to be the, the perfect thing. And then I put these pieces of cut glass that come from the smashed um, laminated safety glass. And they glisten so wonderfully. And the timing of the lighting is really something in this show. I wanted people to, to walk the labyrinth. And as they walked each path, there's seven paths, they would light up. If they get to the center, they would see the mirror, themselves in the mirror at the center, and then see these figures light up all around. And then all the lights would go out, and they would retread their path because there's one way in a labyrinth and one way out, the same way, you go back. So I decided that it would be dark, totally dark, except for the night glow paint, and they could sort of walk out, you know, follow the images out. So there's been lots of technical unknowns, but they've been challenging.